Hello, my name is Megan Thurgood Johnston, and I'm the Associate Director here at Craighead Green Gallery. I know that everyone is staying safe inside right now, so I'm going to take you on a digital tour. We have three current exhibitions. We have Abinia Gouge, Streaming, Damien Suarez, The Shape of Color, and Anders Mosel, Raw Memory. Let's take a look at Anders. So Anders Mosel currently resides in Denmark. He works with oil on canvas, and he likes to create these scenes that are landscapes and sometimes interiors, but this entire show is going to be landscapes and exteriors of cities and places that feel like you've been there before, but he kind of alters those details. So there's one that's very recognizable. We have, obviously this is going to be downtown Dallas. It's titled Six Floor um, in reference to the Six Floor Museum. He also likes to play with uh, kind of this white wash that he is influenced by Gerhard Richter. So um, in Gerhard Richter's and in Anders's, you will see this little bit of a wash that takes away some of those details. So Anders goes in, he creates these gorgeous paintings, and then he kind of washes out a little bit of the details and makes you second guess your own memory of a lot of these recognizable places. Anders also likes to work with movie film uh, stills. So he has different stills from different films uh, that have kind of banal imagery, but feel a little bit grand whenever they get to be put into these gorgeous paintings. As you can see, Anders likes to work in a large format. So we have these big giant canvases. Uh, he works, it feels like a monochromatic painting, but there's actually a ton of color involved. Uh, so you'll see a lot of blues, purples, reds, all different colors that are in there, and then he washes through those with that white that I mentioned before. He also likes to play with, uh, with our memory, these little glitches. So you see that geometry that's involved, and uh, just kind of playing with how the landscape plays out. So whenever you have these large buildings, sometimes they go all the way to the sky, there's going to be no um, horizon, and it's just kind of continuous. And then if you come over here, we'll see Damien Suarez. So Damien's originally from Venezuela. He currently resides in Mexico City. These are going to be thread on wood panel. The way that Damien makes these is he creates individual little wood panels, and sometimes larger ones, with silk and cotton thread. He will dye these purposefully in order to create um, his compositions, and also he plays a lot with color theory. In color theory, he likes to see how different colors work next to one another. Of course, the entire spectrum of the rainbow is a big reference for him as well. So the title of this show, again, is The Shape of Color. He likes to kind of shape the way that your eyes see them as you move through the show. Of course, these shows are going to be fantastic in person, and we can't wait for everyone to view them. But this is a good little glimpse. little reference to Mondrian in this one. And then lastly, we have Abhidya Ghosh. Um, Abhidya is originally from India, and she currently resides here in Texas, in Tyler, Texas. You may recognize her work in several museums. She's been at the Crow Collection here in Dallas. She's been in Houston at the Asia Society and uh, all over. So she works in something called woodblock print. So a woodblock print is where she's actually carving into that woodblock, and she creates this beautiful imagery that's in reference to mandalas and floral motifs and um, different kind of imagery that's in reference to her home in India. And then she puts these paper plates through the print process in order to create these woodblock prints. So as I said, they are paper plates. She likes to play with this as a medium, as something that people think of as disposable. Of course, after she's done creating the works, they get finished with the polyurethane, which makes them archival, which is fantastic. This entire group is called Gather, but each individual piece is its own work. So uh, you'll see this little scalloped edge, you'll see these beautiful kind of floral motifs inside of there, as well as mandala as well. So in reference to these mandalas, uh, she also does these uh, drawings. So these are unique. Each one of these will be uh, ink and then gouache. Gouache is a non-transparent watercolor. 
and each one of those are done by hand. So you get a lot of that imagery that's from India. You get to see these beautiful flowers, these beautiful kind of paisley forms, and then of course this different type of uh, color palette for each piece. These are portraits of different women. Abi likes to reference women in her work specifically. Everything is in reference to different women and uh, their roles in society. So their roles in society in India and their roles in society in the United States. So with her coming from India, we also have this big beautiful one that I'm about to talk to you about. Uh, she's come from India, so she talks about like the, women, the woman's place in India and then the woman's place here in the United States. Uh, whenever she came here, she realized that uh, the, woman, the women are kind of held in these grand spaces, but they're also still treated as disposable in both places that she's lived. So that's in reference to these paper plates and also in reference to the imagery that you find inside of this work. So this is a site-specific piece. Um, this one is called Together. 